Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is part two of my uh, heatsink modification here. So as you can see, we got the car installed. Doesn't look too pretty, but we're gonna test it here. And uh, what I did was I uh, originally had this flush here, but I realized that this area right here was getting really hot because this fan doesn't really blow enough air because it's not really in a controlled environment. So what I did is I slid this fan down pretty much as far as I could without moving any of these, you know, majorly on the card. And it does blow a little more air down on here because one, when, when this is under load, when I'm gaming or folding at home, I mean, I can barely keep my finger on this for a little while. So uh, two 80 millimeter fans is definitely going to be needed, and I'm going to remove this fan here and just have the two 80s bridged across, and I'll find some way to uh, attach them because. I know there's a lot of heat that builds up here, and if I can get this 80 millimeter frame here, another one here, I mean, that would help dissipate a lot of heat. So, uh, alright guys, well, let's uh, commence the testing here. Room temperature is 80.5, uh, or 80.6 degrees, which is about uh, three-fourths three -fourths of a degree higher than it was um, last time so you can factor that in if you really want to but our first test here as you can see here's our idle conditions pretty much the same as it was and uh, as I can say I'm just monitoring the core temperature here um, I don't have any way of monitoring the other ones and this is just going to be a simple test here to show the difference so I'm going to use our ATI tool here again for a few minutes see what the temperatures get up to and uh, as you can see uh, sorry about that our fan speed here, which really doesn't make no difference, is going to be set to 75 the whole time, just so it gets a little bit of air over the components that are surrounding it, as you can see here. And it kind of blows a little through there, I guess. But the first test is going to be our fan set at 50%, and then we'll do 100% because that's all that really needs to be done because this is plenty quiet for watching movies and doing normal stuff like I'm making a video right now but once I get it to 100 uh, just the resistance of the heat sink and the fans spinning and everything is just too much so alright guys I'm going to run this test and I'll be back okay that test is complete and as you can see temperatures got up to 67 celsius as the maximum just for that few minutes of testing that I did with uh, ATI tool um, the artifact scanner and the uh, the box which the box actually seems to get it hotter than um, the artifact scanner and what mostly I get in games because games I usually get about 64 to 65 so this is actually only three degrees less than the 75 percent fan speed of the stock cooler I think it was so you know that's all right for sound versus um, temperatures. You know they're still plenty safe. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna crank this fan up to 100%. And just for the sake of the argument, I guess I'll crank the other one up to 100% too. Let's see, 100%. And here what we we'll do like this. here for a minute so our temperatures get down to and then we'll run the load test and then I will be back to show you guys the results alright guys and here's the results of our final test 100% fan speed on both fans and you have to remember if you look here room temperature is now 82 degrees well at least in this area here I've kept this temperature um, little clock temperature sensor thing here for all these tests to uh, keep it consistent so um, yeah I turned the fans down too because it was quite loud but as you can see we get up to 65 so if you factor in the correction of the differences in temperatures maybe half a degree to one degree in certain applications that we're going to be better off than the factory blower style fan so um, and as you can see too same clock speeds and everything 
Uh, so my basic assumption here is I'm going to try doing the dual fans here maybe in the next day or so. And um, if my temperatures don't get, you know, a dramatic decrease, then I'm probably just going to throw it all back together the way it was and maybe do the uh, ex uh, reverse fan on the uh, exhaust port right over here that comes out that I made the other video about. If you haven't seen that, check it out. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to do this modification here soon and I'll make another video so thanks a lot for watching and uh, chat with you guys soon